to ask Sabi. Last week, Newmo actually posted on their Facebook page to ask you guys, the fans, if you had any questions to ask me. And today I'm here to answer all those questions for you. Yes, she is here and she's looking gorgeous as ever. Hi, Sabi. Hi, Minnie. What are you doing there? Come join me here in front of the camera. Nope, nope. I have no makeup on, so I'm gonna scare the fans away. I'll stay right here, I'll ask you the questions, and you answer. Sure. Let's get started. To convince the judges, you need an extremely sexy body for photo shoots and catwalk. So what is your plans and who is your benchmark? Well, thank you, Mar Editorverse, for the question. I would definitely say I agree with you that it's very important to have a good physical appearance when you are up at that international stage to wow the judges. It's really very important. But on top of that, I think it's also really important to ensure that your personality shines through your great body so that there's substance behind, you know, whatever that you are showing to the judges. So I think that's something that's really important. That's what I'm going to be looking at to do this year in Brazil. And my benchmark is actually Lara Dutta. She was one of the winners of Miss Universe before. I'm sure everybody knows who she is because I think that she just embodies a lot of intelligence. She's such a beautiful persona and that is definitely my benchmark to shine for Miss Universe this year. As a Malaysian, are you able to converse in Bahasa Melayu as well? Terima kasih Putra Dilema untuk soalan anda. Sudah tentu saya boleh berbahasa Malaysia. Saya pun rakyat Malaysia sendiri. <laughs> well, I grew up speaking Malay. I'm from a very, very small town. So most of my friends were all Malay. So tak ada masalah langsung. I can speak very good Malay. <laughs> if you can choose your own national costume for the upcoming Miss Universe, what kind of national costume would you prefer? And her second question is, what is your weakness and how do you overcome it? Thank you, Leona Me, for the question. If I could choose my own NC this year, I would actually think of something with the Borneo influence. I think that's something very, very special and something that we have not really tried to do yet. And I really think that big is better this year because we've experienced with the more gentle looking costumes. So let's try something different this year. The second question that Leona Me has asked me. Um, well, in dealing with my weaknesses, I would say my biggest weakness is my own self-esteem. Sometimes I doubt myself and um, I really do need really positive people around me to constantly tell me that um, I'm doing a good job and I am on track. So this is something that I really need to work on. And of course, in terms of my physical appearance as well, which I am really working very hard at the moment to try to improve. So, just believe in the power of transformation and I will shock you in a few months, okay? Other than Elaine Daly and Andrea Fonseca, which Miss Universe Malaysia do you like the most and why? Second question, what will be your secret weapon for the upcoming pageant? Thank you, Alice. Uh, I would say that besides Elaine Daly and Andrea Fonseca, my favourite Miss Universe winner so far, Miss Universe Malaysia that is, is definitely Carrie. Because I think that she has done so much throughout her reign. She has proved so many people wrong and had the chance to get to know her personally. And I really admire her a lot for all the changes that she has, you know, gone through and been through throughout her reign. And um, I'm really hoping that, you know, it's really tough shoes to fill. So I'm really hoping that I'm going to do it justice and make everybody proud, including Carrie. For the second question that uh, Alice has asked me, my secret weapon uh, come my competition in MU this year would be my personality, no doubt, because everyone has a great body and everyone has a pretty face in this universe. They are all winners in their own right, so I believe what sets us apart is our own personality and how I bring it to the table. I believe that it's very important to have a great personality to get people to connect to you, not only the, comp the contestants there, but also the judges and the crew that is backstage. All these things actually play a very important part and I'm really hoping that my personality will shine this time in the competition. How are you so beautiful, Sabrina? <laughs> oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you for thinking so. Well, I think you just need to thank my parents for the good genes. I don't really do much. No jabs, nothing. How do you work on your body? And good luck. Thank you, Selena, for the question. 
Well, it's a lot of hard work what I do with my body these days. Uh, it's just a lot of mean, mean training and a lot of clean eating that ensures that I lost so much weight through uh, boot camp and for the gala night. But I think the toughest part is yet to come. I have a personal trainer with Fitness First, so let's see how the routine is going to be. Hopefully it's not too crazy. What has been the best moment in your life? Thank you, Mohammed Salaman, for the question. Um, the best moment in my life is, of course, the crowning moment um, during Gala Night because it's something I did not expect at all. Um, years ago, I never thought I would get this far. So, you know, it's just something that I cannot describe in words. It was just the best moment of my life thus far. Do you feel offended every time you are compared to your runner-up, Lalita Monisha? Thank you, Ashini, for the question. Why would I be offended to be compared to Lalita? Lalita's an amazing, amazing girl. And I think there is nothing wrong to be compared to her, you know? If there is such a team as Team Lalita out there, I want to be on that team because she's an amazing girl, so no hard feelings there. Would you agree with him that beauty is never static? Thank you, Rezwan. I definitely agree with you that beauty is never static. I think it reflects a lot on how you are as a person and what you actually do. And this actually oozes out from inside. So that's a lot to do with what beauty is all about and not just what's on the outside. So not static at all. How do you like your coffee? Thank you, Keshagun, for your question. I actually love my coffee black and sugarless. That's how I like it every day. Healthy, okay. And your last question is from Fiona Biggs. She says, Hmm, would you stay true to your principles and not use jabs? Thanks, Fiona. Well, I actually believe that beauty is very subjective. When it comes to jabs, I don't think there's anything wrong with enhancing one's features, but of course not taking it too far, like going under the knife, changing absolutely how you look. So I believe in moderation. All right, that's about the questions that we have for you today. Oh, that's all? Yeah, that's all. But don't worry, fans. If you have any more questions, you can always do so by... How was that again, Sabi? By looking up the official Miss Universe Malaysia page or my official page, which is Sabrina Bennett, and posting it up there. Just hashtag A-S-K-S-A-B-B-Y. That's Ask Sabi, and I'll answer them personally. Bye, guys. Bye.